What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another video. We are going to test out the noise suppression on OBS Studio. Currently we have a loud fan running in the background. Make sure you've got on a really good set of headphones so you can hear the differences. The microphone is definitely picking up that fan. Towards the end of this video, I'm going to go ahead and test it out with the loud fan running on the Waves Clarity VX program and see how that does compared to the OBS noise suppression so we can figure out which one's actually better. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and turn on the noise suppression and see if it works. But first, let's clack on the keyboard a little bit and see how it picks up the keys. We are on the Lewitt 440 Pure microphone right now, which is a great condenser. It picks up every little thing. All right, let's turn the noise suppression on. Now the noise suppression is currently on, you're probably not hearing the fan, but did that degrade the audio quality of my voice? If you're listening on a really good set of headphones, you're definitely going to hear some kind of a difference, but I don't know how much of a difference you're going to hear. Let's go ahead and clack the keyboard now and see if it picks up all of that or most of that. So currently the noise suppression is still on. And we do have it set to the good quality, right? There is a lower quality noise suppression and we're going to switch to that right now. And I can pretty much guarantee you that's not going to sound very good. Let's click on the keyboard. I don't know if it's uh, blocking that out or picking that up or not, but let's go ahead and turn it back to the higher quality noise suppression, which is definitely the one you should be using. It does say it uses a little bit more of your CPU power in your computer, but this is a good test, so I'm going to stop this and listen to it back, and then I'm going to give you my thoughts on how well this works or if it ruins the audio quality. All right, so I listened to that. I played it back, and right now you're listening to the noise suppression on, but I have the loud fan turned off. And what I notice is this thing has to work harder when there's more noise, and the more noise it's blocking out, the more it degrades the audio quality. But Bottom line is this noise suppression really does a nice job. It's not perfect, but it's pretty darn good. It completely cuts out that fan noise. It cut out most of, the, most of the keyboard noise. I was really sitting there clacking on it. I heard it for a second, then it stopped. So it took a second for it to react and cut it out, but it's pretty good. Now it does degrade the audio quality slightly, but not so bad. Now when you have it on the, the lower quality noise suppression, that sounds awful. My voice sounded bad. I could still hear the fan. It sounded like I was underwater. So if you're using it, make sure you use the high quality setting for the noise suppression. So if you're recording on OBS Studio and you have a really noisy room, I would definitely suggest turning on that noise suppression. It's cutting out a lot of the background sound. It's cutting out a lot of, a lot of the keyboard clicks. I mean, it overall does a really good job. Now, if your room is extremely noisy, yeah, that might be a little bit of a problem, but it does a great job overall. All right, so this is what it sounds like with no noise suppression at all again. And now we're going to load up the Waves Clarity VX noise suppression plugin and try that out on three, two, one, ba bam. So this is what the Waves Clarity VX sounds like. We still have the really loud fan running in the background. So let's go ahead and stop this and play this back and i'll tell you my thoughts on the two programs now we're back to listening to the noise suppression on obs studio you just heard the waves clarity vx and what i notice is the the waves clarity vx gets rid of the fan noise but it doesn't really seem to change the way my voice sounds at all to where this one does a little bit so i don't know they're both very good programs i think the waves clarity vx is a little bit better but hey if you've got OBS Studio, it does have a free noise suppressor built into it, so it definitely works. It does a good job. Overall, I think it's very nice. Now we're back to having absolutely no noise suppression, and this is the way it sounds. But I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are all awesome. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the video's description for some ways to help support the channel or some information or whatever. So check that stuff out, and thanks for watching. Lightning out. Have an awesome day. See ya.